how I feel about this upcoming season is like everything led up to how this is going to go, right? Everything we did, every decision we made, every direction we went with is now going to lead up to this upcoming season. So Teddy K talked about the other day about this upcoming season, and here's what he had to say. He says, we're a lot more serious than we were the last two seasons. And with, especially with the most important position, offensive line, I 1000% agree with that. You know, with even with T. Higgins on the last year of his contract and that drama, doesn't really matter at the end of the day because we still have him for this upcoming season on the franchise tag. But we have Jermaine Burton, a solid, another receiver. We got Gesicki, another really solid option at tight end. I mean, this offense is more loaded than it has really ever been. Our defense, uh, defensive line has gotten way better in the run game than it has been in the past. Our secondary is more advanced and young, but also developing. We got Von Bell and Geno Stone, who's going to help us out, and Dax Hill playing corner. So, I 1,000% agree with this. I think that... This year, we have more of a chance to go win a Super Bowl than ever before. And I feel like in the past, we've had really good chances to go win the Super Bowl. You know, obviously, one thing happened that led to this or that. But at the end of the day, we have the squad to go end up doing it, right? This year, we have all the pieces in order to get the job done. Again, it's going to come down to everything going working together well. But even with our depth, I feel like this is the best depth we've had this whole entire last couple years. I will say, though, I still am very much, you know, interested in the idea of going ahead and continuing to work on our depth, you know, at offensive line and other positions. So I think, you know, we, again, really great job so far. But we need to continue to do that. We have $23 million. I, I know it's crazy to say, but using all that money on free agents and really mastering this death chart and even, I know, here's a crazy thing, making a trade. Yeah. Trading for someone to get them on this roster to really complete this roster I know it's crazy to say that, but yeah, no, that would be exactly what we need to do in this situation. So again, I agree with Teddy. We are definitely more serious than we have been in previous years when it comes to that. Also, what is a burst fade? <laughs> this is a burst fade? Bro, I've rocked a burst fade my whole entire life then. That's interesting. So a different approach to the Bengals offseason plan. You better believe it. I think the premise of the plan this offseason is exactly the same as normal. I don't think it has changed, right? Obviously, our mentality every year is to go win the Super Bowl. That's our goal. I think now you we can start envisioning a little bit more of a plan on how it's going to get done. I think, again, every offseason, every single team, not just us, every single team, their plan is to go win the Super Bowl. But I feel like this offseason, we can now kind of put the pieces in place and say, okay, it's less about us, you know, having to go out there and kind of make up for certain things. And now we have everything we need to be successful and be great. Um, and again, even then, we also have pieces behind that with Amarius Mims. You know, last year, going into last year, we had a problem at right tackle. That was an issue. This year, we figured it out. Last year, going to last year, we had a problem with tight end. We figured it out. We actually figured it out more than just getting Irv Smith like we did last season. We got Mike. Well, what if Mike doesn't work? Guess what? You also have Tanner McLaughlin. You have Eric All. You have Drew Sample, right? So if one plan doesn't work, you have a couple options. This offseason, we got Trent Brown. What if Trent Brown doesn't work? We got Amarius Mims as a replacement. Well, you know, this out of the third. What if T. Higgins has injury concerns? We got Jermaine Burton in the third round. Um, you know, what if Yoshi doesn't pan out? We got, you know, Burton. We also got Trent Irwin coming back. So we have, like, all these, you know, plan A, plan B, plan Cs 
that will work out if things don't work out. I feel like in the past, it's not about us being serious, but it's more or less in the past, we didn't have the plan Bs. We didn't have the plan Cs, the plan Ds. If it was like, okay, well, we trust our 52-man roster. We're going to go into this year, and we're going to see what happens. And as long as Joe stays healthy, we should be fine. Which, you know, I mean, last season when a backup quarterback, we almost made the playoffs. And I think that is definitely not something to take, you know, lightly. And I know people don't want to give us our credit slash our comeuffins here. But the fact of the fact is, that is a very crazy, amazing you know, thing to do, especially with a very tough schedule and in the AFC North. But this season, we have the plan B, the plan C, the plan D. We have all of the options. We have the backup plans for everything. And if everything stays course of plan and we don't have to use the backup plans, it's more reason why we're unstoppable as a team. It's going to be a dangerous year for us. And, you know, as Teddy says, and I agree, this is more serious than any of the year just because of what we have in place. Everything we have been through the last couple of years, everything we have gone through, had set up for this exact scenario to work out. And that's, again, why I'm so excited for this next year. And I think it's going to be, again, I'm not a Cowboys fan here, but this is surely our year because everything has set up for this. Von Bell coming back. You know, Jesse Bates pretend. No, I'm just kidding. But imagine. Imagine Jesse Bates came back. Lou would, um, Lou might have a, he might, he might start crying. But with that being said, though, it's going to be a great season, guys. And, you know, I'm, I'm happy to see the players feel it too. You know, this is our year. This is our time. The Reds are doing good. I'm sorry, this is nothing. I know this is a football channel, okay? But I'm going to, you know, say right now, the Reds went from last place in our division to second place. So shout out to the freaking Cincinnati Reds for absolutely dominating, okay? I love the freaking Reds. Love it, love it, love it, man. I have a Reds channel for you guys who not know. Um, called that Cincinnati Red Stop. But um, I know it's football related. It's not. It's not Reds related. But I just I had to give the boost up to Ellie Dela Cruz with that amazing steal yesterday. But anyway, no. Okay, again, baseball alone. Okay, I know not everyone in this channel loves the Reds. But as I was saying, though, yeah, this could be a great season. So very excited to see what ends up happening. We have two free season games already set in stone. Both of them are gonna be Amazon Prime games. And that's going to be against Colts and the Bears. And that is upcoming in August. So we are very close. I feel like I feel like it feels so long before football is back. But, I mean, we are kind of almost mid-June now. And football is right around the corner. So we're slowly but surely getting there, guys. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.